Alright guys, welcome back to Tiger Woods 2008. So, it actually did not, uh, well, it, I mean, it actually did save this time, so. Very excited for that. Let's go down to, go over there, there we go. Uh, this one right here, because it's off to the side a little bit, you know. Um, uh, stroke play versus Solita Lopez. So we got a stroke play going on right off the bat. And my analog sticks are a little stiff. The left one is anyway, probably because that's the only one I use. The right one is actually pretty nice and loose. So. Welcome to today's events. A star-studded field of the greatest golfers in the world is assembled here in what is sure to be a terrific day of... Now on the tee, the next event. The next competitor. We can't remember his name. Ooh, I, yeah, I can. That's why I moved it so far to the left, and it still went out there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next golfer to the team. I'll move the analog a little, uh, to the left, and it'll get stuck there for some reason. Guess what could give her some trouble. This isn't looking very good. Nor is my waistline. <laughs> Who cares? Toss me another cheeseburger. <laughs> wow, that was really good. It's in the rough, but it shouldn't be too difficult from here. I don't know, 77%. Gonna have to go minimum 9 iron. Yeah, that was straight. Two eagle, oh, a 390 yard part. <laughs> this <laughs> if only, right? And you get a drivable par four cap. Right after that. Ah, so I hoping to get a little bit of power. Oh wow, it just flew right again. Oh, actually, no, I don't think it did. I aimed over there. I just didn't realize it was so much bunker. Not the easiest spot in the world, but it can be made. Made a little bit of backspin. Ooh. I want to say, is it too short? I'll say, so, I'm playing 2K, uh, 21, time? That, yeah, <laughs> um, in my spare time, just, because once the Tiger Woods, and, well, I, I should say, once the EA, 
games are done. Um, it's pretty much back to those games. Or that game, I should say, unless the new ones have come out by then. Which, at the speed I'm going through these, they probably will be out because I'm not going through them very fast. I mean, let's be honest. Um. Oh. So. I've been kind of just brushing up a bit on it, just playing like the career mode and the tournaments and stuff, just get, kind of getting back into it. And I, I can say that right now I've found a good balance, like club wise, where I can hit perfects or even, even not so perfect, and they still end up pretty good, and I'm winning tournaments and stuff. But I will say, for a sim, or pretty much a sim, because that's what that game is, versus an arcade style, which is what the Tiger Woods were. Um, the rough, man, you get into rough, and it's just like, I don't know. Let's just say the whole course is just heavy rough, which is when I played the other day. That means you go a foot into the rough, and you have 190 yards to the green. Not even 190, 160 yards to the green. So, in this real life, four straight birdies. in real life, if I have 160 yards to the green, and I'm in the heavy rough, Ah, A4, I'm gonna be 68. Um, and I'm in the heavy rough. See, like this is 50%. No, it's still 67. Um, and I'm, a, let's say I'm 160 yards in the heavy rough. Now, 160 normally for me, it's about my, it's an 8 iron. It might be a smaller 8 iron, not a, maybe not a full one. Um, and so if I'm in heavy rough, I honestly probably only need my 7 iron. Just a full 7 iron out the heavy rough, I can probably get it to the green. But, I mean maybe 6 iron if it's really heavy, but at that point you're risking, you know, a much more de-lofted club, and so it's gonna you know, snag the, the rough is going to snag it more and it's going to be harder to get it out. But in, you know, the 2k game, you have 160 yards to the, to the green, and in that if it's your 8 iron or whatever it is in the game, you know, you're going to be hitting a, f f you might be honestly hitting a 5 wood out of the rough just to get it to the green 160 yards so I would say that's probably the most uh, unre unrealistic part about that game is when you go into the rough and you have to use you know you have to go up five clubs Because I'll be honest, if I'm like 120 yards and it's heavy rough in that game, sometimes you have to go up to a 9 iron. I would never have to go up to more than like a choke down pitching wedge in real life because I can hit my pitching wedge 145 yards. You know, there's no way you would need an extra 20 yards of club or an extra 30 yards of club at 120 yards. <laughs> But uh, another thing is, hopefully they have, so I saw that in the Roy McIlroy PGA Tour game, they have what's called the ch a choke, and it just lessens the distance of your club by what, five, seven yards or something. I, I can't remember what it was, um, 
That's what they need in the new games. You need to be able to hit a choke shot. You know, because that because that's a huge like shot that people have in real life. Got it up and down for par. Like you use choke shots all the time. I know I do. That's a birdie. I mean, hell, I use a choke shot on the third hole of my course off of the tee half the time. Like if the pin's in the back, full. If it's in the middle or low, I use a choke shot. Ah, 96. Dang. But, uh, that, that's something that needs to be put back into the games, like... And the thing is, in... The 2K game right now, you don't have a punch shot. Which is really stupid. You can de-loft your club, but you can't get it so de-lofted that it'll go, like... I don't know only 20 like let's say you need it to go only 20 feet in the air or something you can't de-loft your club enough to do that you'd have to hit your driver and fully de-loft it to go that low but then you're not gonna you know it's who knows what's gonna happen with that this shot this would make it three consecutive birdies Drop for birdie. But 2K needs to put a punch shot in the game. And in the next one, both EA and 2K need to have the choke shot. And it's so weird to me that, uh... So obviously, if the games need more work, they gotta delay them and everything. But... Okay. But the speculation is that both games are going to come out between July and August. Which is a little odd considering that's, to me anyway, it's really odd because that's the golfing season. Is, you know, March, maybe April for some people, all the way until, for me at least, around mid-December. Um, in which you, you wouldn't want to release, ooh, not that much, to me you don't want to release your, oh, 93, well that's in the water, oh no it's not, okay, your sports game in the middle of that season, cause it's like, well I'm too busy, I'm too busy playing the sport. I don't have time to this play the game work. as well, you know. With work, playing the sport, and other miscellaneous things you have going on in your life. You know, you would want it to release, you would think. Set up for an eagle here. It's uphill six inches. This is uphill seven point eight, so this should be good. Yeah. It drops. Um because at the start of like, yes, if you released it in October, or something like that, was, where it's starting to die down for a lot of people, um, I feel like you would get like your your peak player player would be in that time. But I don't know, you know, I I haven't ever checked on when when the peak player time is or how many players how many people buy and actually play the game when they come out Ooh, that was bad right in the middle of the season you know so I could be absolutely wrong about that I do believe that that was a good choice of club fantastic approach hmm it's not uphill very much, so unfortunately, try to hit it like 70. F well, I'm trying to hit it a little more than 75%. Yeah. 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 
We didn't even get there. That's fine, though. We'll finish it at minus seven. Not too bad. Looking for par here. Rolls it in. And then, um, it's because, like, for me, at least, right now, because I'm not doing anything on the weekends besides, you know, I'll go to the gym. This is the time where I'm going to have the most time to play video games. Because, Graffaloi. Um, you know, come the summer months, I'm going to have, like, I'm going to be at work between 10 and 12 hours. I'm going to be gone from the house a minimum of 12 hours, a maximum of, like, 14. And then on the weekend, it's a long drive challenge. We should easily get this. On the weekend, you know, I'm going to have the gym, and then I'm going to be playing golf. So it's going to leave, you know, maybe what four hours five hours of being home and then in that time you gotta eat and do all that kind of stuff you so you probably only have like three hours on the weekend and on the weekday I literally will have no time and we're just staying the fairway So like when all these games, and I don't think they are actually, well, they aren't set up right now to, whoops, all the games to come out, you know, in the summer and everything, a lot of stuff, there's a couple games coming out in uh, February, instead of, I think May is usually when most games come out, or at least the biggest and most popular ones. Um, so my, my birthday month, so that's kind of funny. And in the summers, like, I'm always, at least, at least this last one, you know, I was like, oh my god, all these, or maybe not this last one, but the one before because of the pandemic and everything, not very many things released on time. I'm always like, oh god, I gotta find time to at least try and start some of these games that are releasing either on the same day or the week after or something like that. Whereas right now it's like it's in February and you know what are you doing in February? One ball play versus Kendra par 4 challenge versus Annabelle. We'll do that one. I think that's where, like, I love having a, a four-day work schedule, but when you are, you know, if you add the drive time it takes to get to work, which is, for me, it's not bad, 20 minutes. To so that's 40 minutes of just driving and a day. Our next is on the and then you have, you have to add in lunch, so that's an extra half an hour you're at work. So right there, you're almost at an hour and a half extra. So I have a 10 hour a day job. If it's just 10 hours, you have to add on an extra hour and a half. It's 11 and a half hours, I'm gone. Plus when you get up, you know, I, I get up two hours before I'm supposed to clock in for work. I get to work about 40 minutes early. I clock in early. Clock in early because I do some extra stuff. Ah, I messed that up. With this, oh, actually no, where it landed, there was no way it was going in. Um. So right there, that's thirteen. Hey, birdie here. If it goes 13 in. hours it's in the hole. where it's just strictly I wake up early go into work I'm at work then I come home and you get home you gotta eat shower 
That's at least another hour. 14 hours. This slight dog leg. Sleep is, you know, you want at least eight hours. You know, for maximum you want eight. I'll take a six minimum. But let's just say eight. That 14, I mean that 14 hours then goes to 22. So then really you only have around two hours. To where you can do whatever you want, you know. And after those two hours... Hey, that was actually pretty good. For those two hours, you kind of, when you get home from being at work or being gone for 12 to 14 hours, because it, it varies, you just kind of want to sit down and relax and wind down. You don't want to do anything, so. So that puts the time I have playing games strictly on weekends. And then the only thing that sucks too, because I work a night shift. This for bogey. Oh, this is stroke. God dang it. Drops a shot with a bogey there. I didn't realize that because I was talking. Kick it. That would hurt in those shoes. Golf balls are not soft. Um, but anyway, the only thing that really sucks about the n night shift is I only have like. Your fourth drive right now, I have less than three hours of daylight <laughs> when I wake up because it gets dark at like 5.40 or something. So less than three hours. And then when you go to bed, the sun is coming up. So if you don't have curtains that cover the entirety of the window plus some more and that sun starts beaming in it's just like oh it's hard to go to sleep because you're like the sun's up i should be up doing stuff and you're like, yeah that's what your body feels but you know better you gotta be asleep ah it's too short Wow, she chipped it out of there. Time's end for par. This for back to back to back birdies. Back to back to back. Not bad. You've missed way easier. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah. So one thing that I do on the 2K21 game that I really need to stop, I'm too lazy to hit the setting that just automatically takes the flag stick out. And so sometimes I'll have that, you know, footerless putt and I'll hit it too hard. And um, it'll hit that pin and come out. And so I lose a shot just for that, and I'm just like, really? I need to just... God, I can't figure out what takes the pin out. So I need to just figure out... Uh, let me see what which one it is that takes the pin out and just... Just do that. Why would in the world would you hit a full shot there? This shouldn't be too tough. Nah. <sighs> Especially if I don't move in the wrong direction. <laughs> this to save par. Please make it. <laughs> I don't want to sit through you missing a two-foot putt and then having to hit it again. 
Man, this really should have been match play. The short par four. I get why the par three and five one would be stroke play because there's so few holes. But I mean, good god. Oh come on! <sighs> Should have been on the green. Should have been on the green. The grass here could use a little trim, but it's not bad. <laughs> Whoops! What the hell is that? Go away! I don't need this. Almost. the back nine. Oh, and of course this course wait a minute yeah <laughs> this course has uh, had only one par five on the front so you had an extra par four no way I think I looked at that wrong yeah I did <laughs> it was five par, five par fours which is the correct amount. I mean, correct. You can have less or more than that, but the average, the average course has five par fours. for birdie. Now five under with that birdie. Five under through six. She rolled it in for pause. Yeah, oh, one thing I was doing on the 2K. So, I started to pick, you know, new career or whatever. Or started over, just to start everything fresh. And I didn't change my clubs or anything like that. So, whatever I had was what I played with. And after a while, I was doing okay. And I was like, man, this really shouldn't be this difficult. Because I think I was, I was just on the pro difficulty. Which I think is normal. I, this any myself. I think. Um, yeah, because then it goes Master and Legend. So... I was just on pro pro difficulty. Um, and it was still tough. Like I was hitting reds all the time and everything. I was like, what in the hell? So I switched it. I was like, you know what? Let me go to. Uh, I'm gonna just max out my distance and see what happens. So I tried that with the clubs. Couldn't get a perfect. Could barely get a black fast or slow to save my life. And I was like, ugh. Why does it so show nothing on the right? It's weird. I don't think this is enough. Hey. Um, and if, man, I can barely do anything on that. So then I, dr I dropped it. You know, I overcompensated. I dropped it to some of the most forgiving clubs. Man, you talk about can barely reach a par four without a five wood. Holy hell. I was hitting four hybrids and in, in five and three woods into like half of the par fours when normally, you know, you're hitting a nine iron. This could find the rest.
because you had a 450 yard par 4. Normally in that game you you drive it on average let's just say 310 to 315. You have another 140 100 and yeah, 140. The green on this hole. And in that game, I think that's a 9-iron. Um, be a pitching wedge for me. So, if you are on the most for... Oh, it hit the rough first. If you are on the most forgiving clubs, then your average of hit is going to be like 365 to 380. Ah. And there's too much. Um, which means you're going to still have around 190 to 180 oh. left. Which is your... It's either your 4 high or your 5. What I cannot remember. Oh god, this putt. Really? Blow it in! Get down on your hands and knees and blow the ball in there. No one will notice. About. Need some serious damage control here. I knock it in and let's move on. Bogey. But after that, I was like, all right. Let me go from most forgiving to just an average, you know, set or whatever. And I think I ended up just using the same, co no, because I have some, I use it, I'm using the same wedges. And I think I'm using the same driver woods and four hybrid. No, I'm using a different four hybrid. Because normally I like to try and stick with one brand. Here's the perfect spot for your pitching wedge. But in trying to find the better clubs to use for me, I've gone to. I think it's a tailor made driver. For birdie. I think the woods. Hey. The woods might be either they're either tailor made or titleless. Then the four hybrid is literally the golf club brand or HB whatever, um, which I don't like using those. At it's just a weird thing. I like to use the actual brands that exist in real life. But the irons and the wedges are the same as when I started. <laughs> So literally just the four hybrid, I think, the in, the, in the woods are different. Don't be surprised if you're the That should be good. Alright, so we played 10 holes and she finishes plus 7. So she parred only 3. Oh no, she parred 4 because she doubled one of them. Putting for birdie. And we get to minus 8. And we buggy them.
Okay. Damn. If this putting challenge was on here, I would have done that one really quick, but... I don't know. Hopefully one ball or scan... Oh, God. They're both just basically stroke plays. So I'm not sure... I'll tell you what, let's do the one ball real quick. Because Jim Furyk is going to be 18 holes. I'm pretty sure. So I don't want uh, the next video to be... Oh yeah, see I forget that this is one ball. So this is not short play. It's technically match play. Against the punk rocker. Okay, let's see if we can make this only go f to five holes. It can be a little tricky, man. When you're missing the commentators in the crowd, it's awkward. All right, power five. Let's get it as far up there as we can. Uh, only 99. I was thinking I'd actually... Oh. <laughs> I'm right behind the tree. I thought it was going to smack the first tree and just go dead right. Betrayal. Uh, you think I can get this up and down? Probably not. Nah. Let's see... She's got to put it somewhere pretty close, so I mean, seven feet shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to make it. Doesn't look too tough. Yeah, making sure that was not going to be short. Hoping to get it close enough to where she had to put it within, you know, 10 feet. But. I guess I kind of screwed my shelf on that one. Alright, 14 feet. Will she make this putt? Hopefully not, even though it seems like the green is pretty straight. Double betrayal? No. Okay. Usually with holes on with water, they double betrayal like crazy. So I'd like to get it on the green. Ah. Okay, she's putting. Putted it <laughs> way out of there. Dang it, man. <laughs> if I didn't make you know I, it was so close even the the crappy NPCs would have made it from just about anywhere I, I would have put that so unfortunate because making that this would be our last hole
Okay, that should be good enough for she her having to put it close, but not making it. Yeah. Alright, and hopefully we get a win here. Make it be our last. <laughs> Barely got over that line. Alright, <clears throat> let's see. I'm thinking. Try to get it on. Ah, nope. I want to say try to get it on, but just on the edge. So she can't throw it like way off the green like that one time. Ooh, there we go. You sealed your fate, lady. Straight in anyway. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is 18 holes. Oh my god. This should not be an 18 hole thing. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm glad I put it in this part then because the God, if the skins is 18, I'm going to be pissed. We have one short one, obviously, the, the putting. Then, you know, Jim Ferrick's gonna be, oh no, we won the gold, okay. What? That makes no sense why we needed to go to this hole. Five up with two to play. It's impossible. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better then. But we're gonna go ahead and end it here. And when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna do the skins first, which was Melvin Tanagawa. Then we're going to do the putting challenge, and then we're going to go and face off against Jim Furyk. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you.